Welcome back to Vegas. Lisa Martin here covering Snowflake Summit 22. We are live at Caesars Forum. A lot of guests here, about 10,000 attendees, actually 10,000 plus. A lot of folks here, the momentum and the buzz, I gotta tell you, the last day and a half we've been covering this event is huge. It's probably some of the biggest we've seen in a long time. We're very pleased to welcome back one of our CUBE alumni to the program, Ron Teo, Principal and Chief Data Officer at Deloitte One. It's great to have you joining us. Yeah, no, thank you. Super excited to be here with you today. Isn't it great to be back in person? Oh, I love it. I mean, the the energy, the you know connections that we're making, um, Definitely, definitely uh, loving loving the, the experience. Good experience, but the opportunity to connect with customers. Yes. I'm hearing a lot of conversations from Snowflake folks, from their partners like Deloitte, uh, from customers themselves. Like it's so great to be back in person and they're really talking about some of the current challenges that are being faced by so many industries. That's right. Oh, that that is. You know, I would say. As a consultant, you know, it all comes down to that personal connection and that relationship. And so I am I'm all for this and love, you know, being able to connect with our customers. Yeah, talk to me about the Deloitte Snowflake partnership. Obviously a ton of news announced from Snowflake yesterday. Snowflake is a rocket ship. Talk to us about the partnership, what you guys do together, maybe some joint customer examples. Yeah, I mean, so Snowflake is a strategic alliance partner. Uh, we won the, you know, SI Partner of the Year Award. Um, and for us, the, the shift and the opportunity to help our clients modernize uh, and achieve a level of data maturity uh, in their journey is, is strategically. It's, it's super important. And it's really about how do we help them leverage you know, Snowflake as underlying data platform to ultimately achieve you know, broader goals around you know, their business strategy. Um, and our approach is always very much connected to overarching business strategies in the sense of, is it a finance transformation, a supply chain transformation, a customer transformation? Um, and what are the goals of those transformations? And how do we ensure that data is a critical component to enabling that? And with you know, technologies and vendors and partners like Snowflake, um, allowing us to even do that at a faster, better, cheaper pace, only increases the overall business case and the value and the impact that it generates. And so um, we are super, super excited about our partnership with Snowflake. And we believe you know, the journey uh, is very, very bright. Um, you know, we, we, this is the future. Um, you know, I often tell folks that you know, data has and will continue to be more valuable than sort of the systems that own it and manage it, um, and I think we're starting to see that. I think the topic um, that I discussed today around data collaboration and data sharing is an example of how we're starting to see you know, the importance and the value of data uh, you know, become way more important and more of the focus around the strategy for, for organizations. As the chief data officer, what do data sharing and data collaboration mean to somebody in your position and what are some of the conversations yeah. you have with customer, other CDOs at customer organizations? Yeah, so, so my role is, is sort of twofold. I, I am responsible for our internal data strategy. So when you think about Deloitte as a professional service organization across four unique businesses, I am a customer of Snowflake in our own data modernization journey. And we have our own strategy on how and what we share, not only internally across our businesses, but also externally across you know, our partners. So, so I bring that perspective, but then I also am a client service uh, professional and serve our clients in their own journey. So I often feel very privileged in, in the opportunity to be able to sort of not only share my own experience from a Deloitte perspective, but also in how we help our clients. Talk about data maturation. You mentioned you know, the volume of data just only continues to grow. We've seen so much growth in the last two years alone of data. We've seen all of us be so dependent on things like media and entertainment and retail, yeah. e-commerce, healthcare and life sciences. What, how do you define data maturation and how does Deloitte and Snowflake help companies create a pathway to get there? Yeah. Yeah, so I would say step one for us is all about the overarching business strategy. And when you sort of double click on the big broad business strategy and what that means from a data strategy perspective, we have to develop business models where there is an economical construct to the value of data. And it's extremely important specifically when we talk about sharing and collaborating data. Um, I would say the, the, the 
the assumption or the or, 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 or the posture typically seems to be it's a one-way relationship. Our strategy and what we're pushing, you know, again, not only internally within ourselves, but also with our clients is, it has to be a bi-directional relationship. And so you, you hear of, of the concepts of, you know, the, the, the data clean room where you have two partners coming together and agreeing with certain terms to share data bi-directionally. Like I do believe that is the future uh, in how we need to do, you know, more data collaboration, more data sharing at a scale that we've not quite seen yet. yet. The security and privacy areas are increasingly critical. We've yes. seen the threat landscape change so dramatically the last couple of years. It's not, will we get hit by a cyber attack? It's when. Yes. For every industry, I, the privacy legislation that just we've seen it with GDPR, CCPA is going to become CPR in California. Other states yep. doing the same thing. How do you yep. help customers? kind of balance that line of being able to share data equitably between organizations, between companies, yep. but do so in a secure way and in a way that ensures data privacy will be maintained. Yeah, yeah. so first, absolutely recognize the evolving regulatory landscape. Uh, you mentioned you know, uh, California, there's actually now 22 states that have a- Is it 22 a, now? Yeah, 22 wow. states that have a Privacy Act uh, enacted and our projection is in the next 12 to 18 months, all states will have one. Um, and so absolutely a, a, a perceived challenge, but one that I think is, is addressable. Um, and, and I think that gets to the spirit of the question. Uh, for us, there's, there's four dimensions that an organization needs to work through uh, when it comes to data sharing. The first one is back to the, the business goal and objective. Like, is there truly a business need and is there value in sharing data? and it needs to have a very solid business model. Okay, so, so that's the first step. The second step is, what are the legal terms? What are the legal terms? What can you do? What can't you do? Do you have primary rights, secondary rights? Um, the third dimension is around risk. What is the risk and exposure, not only from a uh, data security perspective, but what is the risk if someone uses the data inappropriately? And then the fourth one is around ethics and the ethical use of data. Uh, and we see lots of examples where an organization has consent, has the rights to the data, but the way they used it might have not necessarily been, you know, uh, among the kind of ethical framing. And so for us, those four dimensions is what guides us and our clients in developing a very robust, um, data sharing, data collaboration uh, framework that ensures it's connected to the overall business strategy, but it provides enough of the guardrails to minimize legal and ethical uh, risk. So with that in mind, what do the cu customer conversations look like? Because you've got to have a lot of players, the business folks, the data folks, every yep. bit line of business needs data for its functions. Talk to us about how the customer conversations and projects have evolved as data is increasingly important to every line of business. Yes, I would say the biggest channel or maybe the, the, the denominator at this point that we're seeing bring the, let's say, diversity of needs to a more common denominator has been AI. So every organization at this point is driving massive AI uh, programs. And in order to really scale AI, you know, the, the algorithm <laughs> cannot execute without data. Yeah. And so for us, at least in our experience with our customers, AI has almost been the, the, the mechanism to have these conversations across the different business stakeholders and do it in a way that, you know, you're not necessarily boiling the ocean, because I think that's the other element that makes this a bit hard is, well, what, what data do you want me to share and for what purpose? And when you start to bring it into sort of more individual swim lanes and, and, and our experience with our customers is AI has sort of been that mechanism to say, am I automating you know, our factory floor? Am I bringing AI in how we engage and serve our customers, right? Like it, be, it, be, it begins to sort of bring a little bit more of, of that repeatability at, a, at an individual level. So that's been a, a really good um, strategy for us and our customers. In terms of the customer strategy and kind of looking forward, what are some of the things that excite you about the, the future of data collaboration, especially given all of the news that Snowflake announced just yesterday? Yes. 
Yeah, I think for me, and this is both a little bit of the ambition as well as the push, um, it's no longer a question of should, it's, it's how and for what. Um, and so, so yes, I mean, the, the, the Snowflake data cloud is a network that allows us to integrate, you know, disparate and unique data assets that have never, you know, been possible before, right? So we're in this network. It's now a matter of figuring out how to use that and for what purpose. And so I, I go back to we each individual organization needs to be figuring out the how and for what, not when. Um, this is the future. We all need it. Yeah. Uh, and we just need to figure out how that fits in our individual businesses. In terms of the how, that's such an interesting, I love how you bring that up. It's not, it's not when, it's definitely how, because there's going to yeah. be another competing business or yeah. several right there in the rear view mirror ready to take your place yep. if you don't act quickly. How does Deloitte and Snowflake help customers achieve the how yep. quickly enough to be able to really take advantage of data sharing and data collaboration so that they can be very competitive? Yeah, so there's two main, maybe even three driving forces in this. Um, what we see is when there's a common purpose across direct or indirect competitors and the need to share data. So I think the poster child of this was the pandemic. And we started to see organizations, again, either competitively or non-competitively share data in ways for a greater good right. when there was a purpose. Um, we believe when that element exists, um, the ability to share data is going to increase. Um, we believe the next big sort of common purpose out there in the world is around uh, ESG. And so that's going to be a big driver for sharing data. So that's one element. Um, the other one is the concept of developing integrated value chains. So when you think about any individual business and sort of where they are in that piece of the value chain, developing more integrated value across, let's say, a manufacturer of goods with a distributor of those goods that ultimately get to an end customer, they're not sharing data in a meaningful way to really maximize their overall you know, profitability. And so that's another really good, meaningful example that we're seeing is where there's value across you know, a, what appears to be a siloed set of uh, steps and really looking at it more as an integrated value chain. Um, the need to share data is the only way to unlock that, and so that's that's the second one. Um, the the third one I would say is is around the need to address the consumer across sort of the multiple personas that we all individually sit. Right. So I go into a bank and I'm I'm a client. I walk into a retail store and I'm a customer. I walk into my physician's office and I'm a patient. Um, at the end of the day, I am still the same person. I am still Juan. And so that consumer element and the convergence of how we are um, engaging and serving that consumer is the third big shift that is really going to bring data collaboration and sharing to the next level. And do you think Snowflake is, is the right partner, the de facto, for Delight to do that with? Absolutely. I think you know, the head start of the cloud, the data cloud platform and the network that it's already established with all the sort of data privacy and security constraints around it. Like that's a big, that's a big, you know, check, right? That we don't have to worry about. It's there uh, for sure. Awesome, sounds like a great partnership, Juan. Thank you so much for joining me on the program. It's great to have you back on theCUBE in person, yeah. yep. sharing what Deloitte and Snowflake are doing and how you're really helping to transform organizations across every industry. We appreciate your insights. Yeah, no, thank you for having me here. My pleasure. Always a pleasure, thank All you. All right, for Juan Tayo, I am Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from S Snowflake Summit 22 at Caesars Forum. Be right back with our next guest.